Good morning. Happy Thursday. I'll be back tomorrow. You'll need your book and your chapter 21 paper. Also, your trash lab tomorrow. Today, it's a day two, so break out your Freyer model. Our word is conservation. You have two definitions. You need one of them. Um, don't copy my examples. Make up your own. So, as this is being done, the substitute can go around and check how many of your homework questions you completed. Green zones, yes, you're exempt, unless you lost that privilege yesterday. But really, make your own example. So, make an example of something that we conserve, and then your non-example is something that we don't bother conserving, and then, of course, a picture. After that, we're going into a more regular book review, where I expect you to um, fix your notes as we go over them, or if you're a green zone, just take notes for the first time. If you were absent, you can work in the hall and get a paper and work in the hall. Green zones who are absent can just take the notes as we go. If we finish, just as yesterday, hopefully the laptop card is still there and you could watch approved tubes to do going further extra credit and regular break time activities would be okay, like holding the gerbil and whatnot. Uh, but red zones, no break for you. You're going to get ahead on the back. Not that it's homework tonight, but not passing the test means you need to use class time better. You need to get ahead. So going further extra credit, if you forget where to go. On the home side, we've got regular tubes. On the Google Apps side, we have the tutorial, which is also there in your Google Classroom that you can find it through your email to find one of these approved tubes or one of the articles from Science News for Students and summarize it for up to 10 points of extra credit. Remember, I'll double check your work tomorrow and Trash Lab data is due tomorrow. So make your own data. I'm looking for 20 pieces of data. If you don't know what category it goes in, it's other. And we don't do the class average, we'll do that together. You can't do the back of the lab yet. And if you don't have 20 pieces of data, you can still do the lab. You might miss a point or two on the grade, but you can still do the lab. It just means your math to calculate percentages will be harder. I'll see you tomorrow with your book and your papers and your trash lab data. Have a great day.